And hello, good morning once again. Welcome to my channel. So today our topic is solving quadratic equation by factoring. So in our previous lesson, it is by extracting the square root. Today, factoring. From the root word, factor. So let us try in recalling factor. What is the factor of 12? Factors of 12 can be 6 times 2, 4 times 3, or 12 times 1. Those are the factors of 12. Factors of 8 can be 8 times 1, 4 times 2. Factors of 9 can be 9 times 1, 3 times 3. Quadratic equation. So that means our exponent is with a degree of 2. So how to solve that using factoring? So let us study for, that is our lesson for today. So put in mind that in solving quadratic equation by factoring, our equation, the equation must be in standard form. Before solving, our equation must be in standard form. What is the standard form? That is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a must not be equal to 0. Okay? So let's try number 1. But in factoring, we have three techniques. The first is the GCF, greatest common factor. So let us try number 1. 4x squared is equal to 6x. Again, first step, the equation must be in the standard form. So let us transpose 6x. 4x squared minus 6x is equal to 0. Now get the common factor of 4x squared and negative 6x. So the common factor is 2x. So our parenthesis, 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So you can check if your factors are correct. 2x times 2x, 4x squared. 2x times negative 3, negative 6x. Is correct? Now, equate to 0. 2x is equal to 0. 2x is equal to 0. The other one, 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So we have two values of x. The x of 1 divided by 2. 2 we divided by 2 is 1. So our x of 1 is equal to 0 divided by 2, 0. Let's suppose 3. 2x is equal to positive 3. Divide by 2. So, x sub 2 is equal to, is 3 divided by 2? No. So, the answer is 3 over 2. Okay. Second example. 6x squared minus 27x is equal to 0. Is that a given? So, it is already in standard form. So let us get the factors. So they have a common factor of x. What is the common factor of 6 and negative 27? So the common factor is 3. 6x squared divided by 3x, 2x. Negative 27x divided by 3x, negative 9 is equal to Again, you can check whether your factors are correct. 
3 x times 2 x, 6 x squared. 3 x times negative 9, negative 27 x. Equate to 0, 3 x is equal to 0. The other one, 2 x minus 9 is equal to 0. Divide by 3. That's allowed. x is equal to 0 divided by 3. Find x of 2. 2x transpose negative 9 positive. Divide by 2. That's allowed. x is equal to 9 divided by 2. Uh, we can write it x or simply in proper form 9 over 2. So this is an x of 1. So that is the greatest common factor. The other technique is the factoring in the form of Second technique, factoring in the form of x squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero That means the value of a here is 1. So let's try number 1 using this technique. x squared plus 9x is equal to negative 8. Again, first step, write into standard form. So transpose x squared plus 9x plus 8 is equal to now, factor out. So remember your past lesson when you were in grade 8. So here, get the factors of 8. The sum must be 9. So factors of 8 are 8 times 1, 4 times 4. 8 times 1, 8, 4 times 4. Oh no, it should be 4 times 2. I'm sorry for that. So add, the sum must be 9. 8 plus 1, 9. X, X, we will get the factors plus 8 plus 1. You can check your answer using formal method. So, X plus 8 is equal to 0. The other one, X plus 1 is equal to 0. We have two values for X. Sum 1 is equal to Negative 8. X sub 2 is equal to transpose positive 1 will give us negative. So we can check our answers. Just simply substitute to the B. Other example in that technique. X squared is equal to negative X plus 30. Transpose, write into standard form. x squared plus x minus 30 is equal to 0. Now we can factor out. Factors of 30 are 30 times 1, 5 times 6, 15 times 2. There are more. 3 times 10 Then check The sum must be Plus the 1 So factors of x squared right? x So let us choose between the factors So since this is negative Therefore 1 of our sign is 1 positive and 1 negative so obviously that is 5 and 6. So but where is 6? So 6 must be positive because this is positive 1. 6 is greater than 5. So and this is to check positive 6 times negative 5, negative 30. Positive 6 minus 5, positive 1. So x plus 6 is equal to 0. 
x minus 5 is equal to 0. x sub 1 is equal to transpose negative 6. x sub 2 is equal to transpose positive. Again, you can check your answer by simply substitute. Get it? Next, third technique. In the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. In this case, we will use the TAB method or the trial and error method. So let us try the first example 3x squared plus 2x minus 21 is equal to 0. So check the given whether it is in standard form. So since we have a value of a here, so get the factors of 3. Factors of 3 can be 3x times x squared. Factors of negative 21 can be 7 times 3, 21 times 3. A 21 times 1, sorry for that. Do you have more? Okay, that's it. And now, choose. So, factor out. So, it is easy because 3 is a prime number. 3x and x. Try to get 7 and 3. Since this is negative, 1 sign must be negative. So, let us try negative 7, positive. Check your answer using FOIL method 3x times 3, 9x Negative 7 times x, negative 7x Will give us 9x minus 7x, 2x This must be equal in the middle term That means if that is equal, our factors are correct so equate to 0, 3x minus 7 is equal to 0, and x plus 3 is equal to 0. 3x is equal to transpose 7, divide by 3, x of 1 is equal to 7 over 3. x of 2, transpose 3 will give you negative. Now, let us try number 2. And 
x plus 11 is equal to 0. Now suppose 2x is equal to 1. Divide by 2, x is equal to 1 half. x is equal to transpose negative 11. x is equal to negative 11. Again, we can check whether the answer is correct by this substitute. Now you can search on the internet for the more, more questions so that you can master the graphic equation guide. Factor. Again, there are three methods. We have the greatest common factor, the factoring in the form of x squared plus bx plus c, and in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. And thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something for this lesson. And stay tuned for the next lesson quadratic, solving quadratic equation by completing this equation. Thank you.